Okay, hello everybody and welcome to a very special Loco review. Um, now the Loco I've got today um, is quite something. Um, it's a really special one to me. Um, we went to Hatton's Model Railways in Liverpool and bought it. Um, it was the only one left at the time so we thought we'd get it. So without further ado, let's have a look at what we're looking at. Now today we are looking at a Hornby locomotive and as you can see it is a clan class and the name of it is Clan MacLeod. Now the reason I've had this is because A it's going to be for the new layout which is a Scottish based theme and B it was Clan MacLeod was named after one of my favourite films, Highlander. If you've ever watched it, um, it's the same name, MacLeod. So that's the reason we got it. So as you can see, it's a standard Hornby box. And on the back, we've got some very interesting information about the Clan class. Um, it's a class 6MT and as you can see there it's just loads of information about it which would take me ages to read off so let's have a look at the side of the box and see what it says right this is R2847 BR late standard class 72008 Clan McLeod and it's DCC ready so let's take it out of the box and have a look what we've got. Now the first thing you'll notice is we've just got a blank insert here from just what it is on. Um, now we've got some instructions for the 6MT. Now why does it say Oh yes, I think they must be the same instructions for the Britannia Class 7 MT as well as the 6 MT. Operating and maintenance instructions on the front. Obviously if we open it up now we can see where to lubricate it. Um, how to connect the tender, so I'm guessing it's one of those that you plug in. Um, accessories, obviously detailing and where to put it all um, and how to remove the loco body which we're going to need as it's DCC ready so we're going to have to fit a decoder into it and on the back we've just got where to put the brake rods as well and it's also got removable coal so let's have a look what else we've got ah oh, yes Hornby's plastic sleeve. Now I don't think we'll be needing that because apparently I think it was IC82 aka Will who said about this they give you the sleeve and say put the decoder in it and then contradict themselves and say don't put it in it or something similar like that anyway so we won't be using that we never do. Right so this is the box the loco has come in so let's just ease these off here like so and if we just take this front cover off now the first thing I'm going to just show you before we move on to that is the accessories that we've got. Um, we've obviously got a spare, I think that may be a front running wheel, I think. Um, and obviously here we've got our pipe work and detailing, which looks very delicate indeed. And some brake rods, so we'll keep them in there. So now let's take the top half of the box off. As we can see, it is wrapped in Hornby's tissue paper. 
So if we just take it off a bit at a time, better still we'll just unfold it. Like so. Right, and let's take it out of the box. So if we just take this bit first and put that bit on the ground. Right, and here it is, Clan McLeod, the 6MT Clan class. And I've got to say, from the very beginning, it has got quite a bit of weight to it. It is such a lovely loco. So let's have a look at it. Obviously, these I think are called wind deflectors. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, as we can see, it's Clam Cloud. Um, obviously we've got four wheels on the front bogey here uh, but you can just see the detailing that has gone on to this and all Hornby's locos are absolutely excellent for this outstanding detail um, it's got three wheels either side in this middle chassis block here um, now if we move further along we can see We've got the speedo cable just there. Now you have to be careful that that doesn't come out as on some of our steam locos it's come out whilst the loco has been running and it takes quite a while to get these things back in. Um, we've got all pipe work along here like a brass effect. Um, we've got wire handrails going all the way across the side here, don't know if you can see that um, well it's like a wire effect, I'm not too sure whether it's wire or whether it's just painted plastic but anyhow, it's still handrail um, it's number 72008 if we just have a look in here now, in the cab section, we can see that it has got some detail here, like with painting, I think, like, uh, with the fire door. Um, it's just trying to turn it on an angle where you can see all the detailing just inside this bit here, but I'm sure you can probably see it. Um, this is what I was on about earlier the little plug and play. Is it plug and play or just a little plug in chip? Um, now, usually we put these in with tweezers as every time you try to get it in, it keeps coming out of the tender. So, my best advice is to just keep calm with it because it will go in eventually. Um, oh, on the top here, we've even got a little opening roof section. Um, not too sure. What the roof sections are for, so just close that one. Oh, we've got another one there as well. The entire roof section actually op opens. That's good. So we'll just close that up for the time being. Um, I'm just making sure that's still in place. Right, if we have a look at the other side now, um, we can see we've actually got a bit more detailing, oh, bad focus there, just round this section here. Um, it's the same again, basically this side. Um, some brass pipes there. Um, I'm guessing this might just be a plastic handrail, actually not a wire one. But it does feel like some of the wire ones. That's why I said it, but obviously it's plastic. Um, but the same again, the intricate detailing on these coupling rods is absolutely outstanding. I just cannot fault Hornby steam locomotives at all. So, let's have a look at the front now. Obviously, as we can see, sprung loaded buffers which is excellent 
um, we're going to be detailing the front along here um, as you can see it's got the shed plate I think that says 13 a SC now, I'm not too sure what SC stands for but if you do know please leave your comments below um, and if we just have a look at the top half of the loco now we can see it is um, basic but it looks like it's got like riveting effects these little holes here so it has got some detail to it right so with that out of the way let's have a look at the tender right and here's the tender um, it's really lightweight and as you can see if I slide that up and down it's got removable coal um, so let's have a look at this then um, it is the lake crest which is one of my favourites I have to say and it's even got a riveting effect along here which you can feel that's actually quite good um, I'll see here now this is where the loco hoop goes um, this is obviously the black part on the loco where it goes down through there and sits on the track level um, so if we just turn it under here now you can see that little white square is where the plug-in chip goes so it has to go in a certain way um, if we take a look at the back of it now we can see it's got a ladder here obviously this is what the firemen used to climb up with and perhaps put the coal in uh, or maybe something else I'm not really too sure but if you do know please leave your comments below um, we've got sprung loaded buffers which is excellent um, same again this side nothing different and this is just the top section and it has got six wheels on the tender now what this loco is going to be going on um, is some freight on the new downstairs double O gauge layout and it's been built so we will be running it on the loft layout um, and there will be a video of it at some point during this year but that's it basically the Hornby class 6MT